Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when the game is not launching on your Windows computer. Now the first step is to allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. So if you have any third party antivirus like Avast, Norton, Bitdefender, whichever antivirus program you have, allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. Now if you're using Windows security, then open Windows settings, go to privacy and security. In Windows 10, click on update and security and then click on Windows security. Now click on virus and threat protection. Scroll down at the bottom, you will see manage ransomware protection. Click on it. Now click on allow an app through control folder access. Click on yes to allow. Then click on add an allowed app. Click on browse all apps. Now go to the game installation folder. So in my case, the location is this. So go to the game installation folder, open the game folder, select the game exe file and then click on open. Now type in control panel in Windows search box, go to control panel, system and security, Windows Defender Firewall. Click on allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Click on change settings, allow another app, click on browse, and then again select the exe file and then click on open and click on add. In my case, it is already added. Once it is added, now you can launch the game and then check. Now the next step is to change, use change setting option to make changes so when you click on play you will see an option change settings select change settings over here then click on play now once you click on play you can select the right resolution you can select the native resolution so you can open windows settings and then go to system and then go to display so in my case the recommended resolution is 1920 into 1080p you can select the same resolution over here or you can even lower down more and then check now make sure that the game is running on dedicated graphic card now quality preset if this is set to ultra you can set it to high or you can even go for medium and then you can launch the game and then check now the next step is to delete the config file now when you delete the config file you will lose all the saved settings now for this you can open file explorer go to this uh, go to documents folder over here and open my games folder and over here you will see request 2 open this folder open this folder save game and over here you can see this settings file so uh, you can delete this settings file so you can just uh, delete this settings.conf configuration file so you can delete it you will lose all the uh, saved settings but you can even uh, rename or delete the save game files but you will lose all the game progress you have to start everything from scratch so if you agree you can just rename this folder old and then you can launch the game and then check next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics driver so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website if you have amd card go to amd website i'm showing for nvidia so to perform a clean installation go to nvidia website and then select your graphic card from the list make sure that you select your graphic card and then select the right operating system so if you have windows 11 select windows 11 if you have windows 10 select windows 10 and then click on find and once you click on find you will see this page now here you will find the latest ge force game ready driver now click on view and then once you click on view you will see the download option click on download and let the download complete now once the download is complete run the exe file now once you run the exe file you will see this screen click on agree and continue and then select custom option over here by default express would be selected select custom and then click on next and then you will see this screen now put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation make sure you put a check on perform a clean installation and then click on next and let the installation complete once the installation is complete restart your computer and after the system restart launch the game amd card users go to amd website first of all uninstall the current graphic card driver restart your computer then go to amd website select your graphic card and then install the latest graphic card driver restart your computer and then launch the game next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card now for this type in graphics settings in windows search box and then click on graphics settings over here and then click on add desktop app and then go to the game installation folder and then select the game exe file and then click on add once the game is added over here so you can find the game in the list once you find the game click on the game over here and then select over here high performance you will see your graphic card over here select high performance and then launch the game and then check next step is to run the game as an administrator from the game installation folder now for this you can go to steam make a right click on the game select manage click on browse local files and then select the game exe file you can make a double click launch the game from here and then check if that does not work 
make a right click on the game exe file select properties go to this tab put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check still not working then go, go to properties once again and this time select windows 8 over here put a check over here select windows 8 hit apply click on ok launch the game if that does not work you can even select windows 7 hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check still not working put a check on disable full screen optimization hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check still not working then in that case you can uncheck these boxes so when you put a check on all these boxes not working then you can uncheck these boxes hit apply click on ok and then follow the next step now the next step is to try dx11 or dx12 in launch option so make a right click on the game select properties in the launch option type in dash dx11 now you can launch the game and then check if that does not work you can even try dash dx12 launch the game and then check still not working you can remove this and then follow the next step now the next step is to amd users can install this amd optional update so you can go to md website and then go go to md website install this optional update that is 25.2.1 you can click on it and then you can and once the download is complete you can run this exe file click on it run this exe file in, install it restart your computer and then launch if that does not work you can even install this md optional this one so in google search you can search it go to md website and again you can install this one restart your computer and then launch the game next step is to disconnect extra any additional usb adapter connected to the computer sometimes we have extra a dongle or usb adapter connected disconnected disconnect extra controller sometimes we have extra controller connected disconnected disconnect multiple monitor try launching the game on single monitor and then check if you have any third party application or services running close it if you have undervolted you can be remove the undervolt and then launch the game next is to disable steam overlay now for this you can go to steam make a right click on the game select properties turn off the option which says enable the steam overlay while in game turn this off also if you have any other overlay application running like if you have discord running go to discord settings and then turn off overlay if you are running nvidia app in that case uh, you can go to settings and over here you will see nvidia overlay you can turn this off from here all, or you can simply close all the overlay application and then launch the game also close all the overclocking application like if you have msi afterburner running or reward tuner running you can close it so sometimes msi afterburner is hidden um, so you can just uh, click over here up, up arrow you will see msi afterburner you can make a right click close it if you have reward tuner running you can close reward tuner or you can if you have any other overclocking application running close all the overclocking application and then launch the game next step is to update windows to the latest version this is important so open windows settings go to windows update or update and security and then click on check for update once all the updates are installed over here then restart your computer and after the system restart launch the game and then check next step is to increase the virtual memory so to increase the virtual memory type in view advanced system settings in windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive so uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed so select the drive and then once you select the right drive now put a check on custom size and for initial size it's 1.5 into total ram so you can check the total ram in windows settings you can go to system and then go to about and total ram in my case is 16 gigabyte so you can calculate accordingly in my case is 16 gb so i will calculate as per 16 gb so and first of all we have to convert 16 gb into megabyte so we will open calculator so type in calculator in run box and then click on ok and over here uh, it's 16 1.5 into total ram total ram in my case it's 16 ram 16 gb so 1 16 into 1024 1024 is actually 1 gb is equal to 1024 megabyte so 16 gb in megabyte will be 16384 into 1.5 1.5 1.5 1.5 1.5 1.5 1.5 1.5 1.5 1.5 1.5 1.5 1.5 1.5 1.5 1.5 1.5 1.5 1.5 1.5 1.5 1.5 1.5 
1.5 into total RAM. This is my total RAM in megabyte. Now 1.5 into total RAM, total RAM that is into 1.5. So in my case, initial size is 24576. 24576. And maximum size is 3 into total RAM. Now total RAM in my case, that is 16 gigabyte. I have 16 gigabyte of RAM. So 16 into 1024. I have converted this in megabyte. Megabyte now that is 3 into total RAM. So total RAM is this much into 3. That is 49152. 49152. 49152. Now click on set over here. Then click on OK. OK. Apply. OK. OK. Now restart computer. Make sure that you restart your computer after this. Now the next step is to install Visual C++ file. Now for this, copy this link. The link is provided in the video description. Open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. On this website, install this Visual Studio 2015, 17, 19, and 22. Download this x86 and x64. So click on this x86 file and then click on this x64 file. Download both the files. Once the download is complete, you can run both the exe file, run it, and then you can launch the game and then check. So you have to install both the files. So just click on it and then click on it, install both the files and then restart your computer. And after the system restart, you can launch the game and then check. Now the next step is to update the system BIOS. So go to your system manufacturer website, select your model number and then update the BIOS. In case of laptop, make sure the charger is connected and the battery is more than 10% and then update the system BIOS and then restart your computer and then launch the game. You can skip this step if you're not able to launch the game. But if you're able to launch the game, you can set it to FSR 3.0 and lower down graphics settings. So if you're able to launch the game, launch the game first. So once you launch the game, uh, you can go to options. So go to settings and then go to graphics over here. Now, if this is set to like FXAA, in that case, you can set it to FSR 3.0 or you can even turn it off and then check. But for me, I will just set it to FSR. Now, if graphics quality is set to ultra, you can set it to high or you can even set it to medium and then you can check the performance. Now, the last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drive. So you can if nothing is working, you can just make a right click, manage, uninstall. Now after the uninstall, go to the game installation folder, delete the game folder and then install the game to C drive. So if the game is installed to any external drive like D drive or E drive, try to install the game to C drive and then check. Now if the game is already installed uh, to C drive, then try to install the game to another SSD and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to run the game successfully on your Windows computer. So that will be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.